You may have passed away correctly. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yung susunodin lang sa litay. Okay. <laughs> Ay, uh, <clears throat> so, so, the first time in our history, uh, in a midterm election, no opposition senator won. And then I, I asked what happened. And then I sinurin namin, no? One thing that came out, and this also happened since we had the automated election system that started 2010, no? Is this so-called over uh, <coughs> spoiled ballots? Did you know that uh, there were about uh, 3 million spoiled ballots because more than 12 DAO are not out. Once you say the 12 uh, names for senator, 13 or 14 no man, your, uh, your vote will not be counted. Zero and a young uh, vote for any senator, even if you have voted for but we, we, we were wondering um, how that could be, no? In other words, ma, pa naman na, you always check na talagang you will not shade more than 12. But nagkaroon ng 3 million or so na over pa, no? Then we, we found out that uh, that time you were supposed to lab, no? Any complaint, no? Imagine you voted, for example, what you thought was 12, then suddenly your voter sees it, will tell you that you have not voted any senator at all. Your discourse then would be to file a complaint no? to the uh, <coughs> teachers, no? your members of the uh, Board of Electoral Inspectors, the mga teachers na yon, and they will have that. So I asked Komelek, how many complaints did you receive? Na uh, spoiled ballots because more than uh, to, you know that answer? Wala pang 100. So where did that 3 million come from? So you can see that you can easily manipulate the result of the election to do anything. That's what we found out now. So, kailangan, that time I already said that we have to reform into a more transparent, into a more credible way of automating our election. Kasi black box lang yung BCM, eh, no? You fill in your votes, you receive a, uh, a receipt that more or less tells, and then, of course, if everything is okay, you put it in a well, um, <clears throat> in a box that later on will be just thrown away, no? Pero yung nga, how come? I mean, I, I, I did my best to count 12, only to find, and wala naman, yung sa resibo ko, 12 talagang naboto ko, no? Because kung, hin, kung sino ko dun, I will surely complain, di ba? So how come less than 100 complain? But there were on record, no? About 4 million, 4 million of our, uh, like, our voters were disenfranchised. Without anybody knowing. <laughs> well, parang, parang they did not mind that. It's fine, no? Uh, but this time, I think uh, I could not sleep anymore. <laughs> so uh, we observed uh, some irregularities. Not even with, that will clearly show that, again, we are being fooled. No? And this time, I think, we really have to up on it. Uh, these irregularities, if unexplained or 
are not answered, will be just like what happened, no? We, we ask the question, where are the records of the 4 million that supposedly shaded more than 12? Or none at all, no? By getting a non. Uh, but if you did not shade anything at zero dawn, you will not complain because that's how you voted, you know? But if you have shaded more than one, and then you get zero, you will complain. Only 100 or less than 100 made complaints. So, where did that 4 million come from? Okay, this is how, I'll just give a short next slide, please. <clears throat> And it's not so clear, but all we have 107,000 BCA machine ordination in the 2022 election. 107,000, no? Distributed all, the, all over the Philippines. When it is time to transmit, each BCM will transmit to three servers. Una yung tinatawag na municipal servers. The second would be the Omelec Central server. And the third it is the transparency server. What uh, pananyanos, almost one after the other, alam niyo naman, para nag text ka three times sa cell phone mo uh, to three different persons. Yung sa transparency server, yan ang pinapakita sa publiko. So that's where we got uh, the result of the election. Uh, they started uh, coming up or show the public. The first is the first uh, <coughs> update was uh, if I'm not mistaken 7 17. And then the next is 802 and every 15 minutes thereafter. Okay, next slide. Okay. After transmission, yung after you're transmitted, mabilis lang yun eh. As fast as you, you are sending three uh, messages, uh, you get a what you call the date time stamp. And you Get that in your cell phone. So, so every time somebody texts you a message or you send a message to somebody, the time and date that you receive it. No? And this record is of course um, in the data center of the telcos. I uh, used to be also the uh, chairman of the National Telecommunication Commission way back in 2001 to, from, from the best subscribers. We simply take note of this. Hindi rin makahuli. Pag talagang gumawa ng tawag, voice call or SMS or email, may record yun. Because you are going to be uh, uh, built, no? Where you use. You can send, and then the, your email is sent to three recipients. That is how, how fast it is. Next slide, please. Okay, so, ito hindi alam masyado ng public, no? Before any precinct transmit the uh, there is a general instructions from Comelec that has to be that are uh, operated by the teachers no the uh, like, but not all of our PC close because but my na nakapila within uh, maybe about uh, uh, 50 meters away from the precinct, you have to, to allow them to go in and vote. Pero sabi nila, okay, pinto na sa iyo, wala nang can close. The uh, teacher, the uh, chairman 
of the board will say, okay, but uh, wala na nagpo-vote, oh, we will close the VCA. When they close it, even if you feed a, a ballot, it will not count anymore. No? So, so, let us assume that for, for the sake of uh, <coughs> visualizing this irregularity, let us assume and then they have to leave the VCM. Remember when you were voting, that VCM was on top of it. That is actually a ballot box. So that when you fill in your ballot, it will slide down to that ballot box. So they have to uh, <coughs> remove the VCM from that uh, ballot box. Sorry. They have to do that in front of all the all watchers now. And then, the VCM, then they have to configure it to printing mode. Okay, so that's number three. Then they are required to print eight copies of the election results. Now, how, what that, or how does this uh, ERs look like? Remember yung uh, DPAT, yung voters receipt nyo? There's only one name for president, the, the one you voted, one for vice, uh, 12 for senators, and one party list. And then, uh, congressman, yung local government, yung local uh, positions na about the same number as the national position. No? Congressman, governors, mayors, councillors. Okay. So, how, how long they will it take you to print yung, yung panel about this long? If you have time, it, it will take about 4 seconds. It's a printer, a time of printer, hindi naman mabilis eh. Yung, yung ginagamit sa, sa mga <coughs> department store. No? So, that long will take about 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004. Then, somebody will cut it. <coughs> But that's only for one president, one main, and one vice president. Well, in the ER, election return, you have to print there 10 names of presidents and their score, uh, 9 names of vice president and their score, 164 names of senators and how much they got in that precinct, no? And then 177 names of party lists. And how much they got in that precinct. And then after that, yung local positions, about the same number. We did a time emotion study, and that takes around uh, to print about uh, more than five minutes. Therefore, to print the uh, copies, <coughs> well, um, 40 minutes na yan, but this, it can still be possible that it can be about 30 minutes. No? Kasi hindi naman lahat-lahat karami ang mga <coughs> kandidato sa pising. No? There are pising that there is less uh, local government position. Pero yun, it averages na mga so the early, ito, no? then after printing the eight, it's the three members of the board will sign and then distribute it to the poll watchers. And one, they poll, put it in the envelope, and this goes to Congress. And then of course they ask, oh, wala na reklamo? And that is the only time they will press transmit. So what time would be the earliest? All precinct, for example, close exactly at 7. What time would be the earliest time that the first transmission will occur on May 9? Around 7.30. Sometimes it is one. We have sino, sino rito naging poll watcher? Wala. But the uh, if you ask any poll watcher, it will take 
some say, you say, oh, it took us one hour to have this printed. Well, by, by malfunction, they have to change the ribbon, kasi mga ba yan? They have to change. You have to change uh, the role, no? For printing. So remember that, let's say 7.30, and that's the earliest, no? Uh, the, just remember the time. Uh, this, no? So next slide, please. So, tayo, 7.17, may nakuha na tayo, I don't know if you can see this, but anyway, uh, you can enlarge it, yung, yung total, the first total is uh, 1,500,000. Saan galing yan, number? <laughs> Kung wala ka nakapag-transmit, no? Well, siguro, sabi nila, yung mga overseas, no? Yung nag, uh, nag vote ahead. Yung mga accentive voters, no? But, bawal yun eh. I mean, at, every time that you put something in the transparency server, you know, you cannot, it has to pass through ABCM. You cannot input there without using the ABCM that is equal, no? Kasi, but pwede pala yan, then you can put anything without any watcher. They haven't answered that yet, by the way. Where did that 1.5 million come from, no? At 7.17. But that's not the problem, really, no? Can you please again soon? On the second. Okay, itong, itong uh, 20 million. That appeared 802. And in that uh, 20 million, actually that 30 million is the total of what BBM got, what Lenny got, what ISCO got, what Pacquiao got, and, uh, uh, <clears throat> and uh, Ping Lakson and uh, Tito. Uh, no, sorry. Ping Lakson. No? Five. Five lang muna nagay ko. Because yun ang major. You total this, this will amount to about 20 million plus votes. The transparency server was able to count 20 million plus votes in the first hour. Sabi natin lahat na close at the same time 7, they were able to count 20 million. Huh? But look at what happened in the second hour. 7 to 8, may pinalabas sila, 20 million were counted. 8 to 9, how much? These are data from the transparent server that they uh, gave it public, no? Na nakapost sa TV natin, that was in, in, the, uh, <coughs> in the newspaper the next day, no? So hindi nila ito matanggi. How much did we get? On the next hour, only 13.2 million. So, are we to believe that from, from 7.30 to 8, the transparency server was able to count 20 million, and the next hour, na wala nang, uh, dapat tapos na yung mga printing and other uh, uh, administrative matters, so it's only able to count uh, 30 million, no? If the same rate of uh, counting was done, 20 million, we should get at least more than among 40 million, di ba? 30, 30 minutes, 20 million, and then on the 60 minutes later, we should be getting no, simple mathematics. Even if, for example, they get, it should be more than, at least more than 20 million. So these are the questions we are asking them. How come, big labahin, well, I, maybe their answer will be, well, in the first hour, mabilis yung internet connectivity sa buong Pilipinas. Then how come that did not happen in the second hour? So may, may nag-pag big, big lang bumagsak yung ating internet connectivity. And they, we can easily ask the telcos if that is the case. But 
since I was with NTC, and I have friends in the telco industry, they, they confided to me, sir, there was very little transmission between seven and eight. So where did that 20 million come from? You know, interest no? becomes peculiar because the 20 million is on that 20 million that uh, occurred in the first hour, take a note at the vote ratio. The vote ratio, every time that they come with, up with an update, you add all the uh, votes of the five major uh, candidates uh, and divide the vote gotten by BDM by the total and so on and so forth. Lenny by the total, the same total of that uh, 802. For example, 802. Look at the uh, 802. Yeah. Eight auto first hour, no? Yeah. Uh, look at the vote ratio. 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60. Up to the last hour of counting, which is four days later, May 13. No change from the first, what? They got the first hour. Halos walang bago si ang ratio ni, ni BBM up to the last counting four days later. No? Uh, Lenny, for example, uh, 27. Yeah. Look, constant. Sino ang mukha dito? Statisticians. Huh? <laughs> If you are given shown of this, this is an actual result of our election. On the first hour, they came up with 20 million, which, in other words, if they, which they could not explain. In other words, let them, we are asking them to explain how come you got 20 million the first hour, and then the second million, and in that first hour, 30 minutes lang, huh? because they have to print, they have to do many administrative matters before they can transmit. So in the first hour, an effective time of transmission is only 30 minutes. On the second hour, wala nang ganu administrative matters. So the full 60 minutes will all be the uh, transmission. In other words, logically, there should be more machines that are ready to transmit in the second hour than in the first hour because of that uh, requirement to print. Yes, logic, mathematics. So how come 20 million on first hour, only 30 million, if we are going to follow the speed of transmission on the first hour, we should be getting at least around 40 million. It's accounting naman, actually, uh, parang bell curve yan eh, no? The uh, Tepco say that their uh, network peak at around 1 a.m. No, it never picked on the first hour. No? And this is the first time, in fact, in, I think, the world history, where the counting peak after the first hour, in other words, the number of votes counted maximum came after the first hour. No? <laughs> and after that uh, first hour result, you get a constant vote ratio up to the last day of counting, four days later. Walang bago. I can leave a copy of this uh, for, for anybody who is interested to get uh, a, a, a bigger copy. No? So next slide, please. Ah, any, uh, so far, any questions so far? Okay, next slide, please. Oh, well, this is the graph, no? Uh, seven, 17, like, but the first result was shown to the public, huh? uh, 1.5 million. 
And then, after the first out, or 8.02, 20 million kagad. But on the second hour, na dapat mas maraming BCM are ready to transmit than the first hour because of the administrative matters that has to be done, naging 13. No? If you follow this rate, that should be around higher than 20 million. No? And, and look at this. From the, uh, this is from 8, uh, 7 to 8 p.m., 8.02 to 9.02 p.m., and from 9.02 to 10.02 p.m. Look at this. It is a straight line, almost a straight line. If all these uh, votes are coming from randomly from, from all over the country where candidates can be strong or weak, no? You can, in other words, between intervals of one hour, you cannot have a straight line between two adjacent hours. Well, it's very highly, highly improbable. But look at this. So, parang, this one is doctored. This one is doctored. And that is exactly what we are asking in Comilic now. But, uh, in other words, wag nyo lang sabihin sa amin na ito yung nabilang nyo. Show us proof by actually showing us the date time stamp that actually these 20 million were actually transmitted between 7 and 8 through this stamp that is in your database. Hanggang ngayon, hindi kami sinasakayan. We wrote them on uh, July 15. Uh, give us uh, proof that you were able to count this many on the first hour alone. By showing us actual date stamp. Nasa, nasa several dapat yun eh. No? What happened? July 15, hindi kami sinasagot. Around July 30, nasunog yung kanilang uh, <coughs> Uh, well, they are not saying that, no? But <laughs> until now, they have not given us the letter. Uh, next slide, please. Well, I, I still said this already. It's the first time in our Philippine history that the uh, number of votes, the, the most number of votes were counted in the first hour. And then, bumagsak na, no? That never happened, even in most advanced country. The first hour result, and then after that first hour, nandun na yung, tapos na yung boxing actually, eh. after the first hour. 60% si BBM, 27% si Lenny, so on and so forth. Uh, si Isko nga, eh, constant uh, five, and si Ping, from, from, um, from the first hour, to the last hour of counting, four days later, hindi nagbago yung constant ratio nila. No? So, so, very critical yung malaman natin kung saan nanggaling yung 20 million na yun. Uh, and again, I said, we wrote them on July 15 pa, no? Uh, then, next slide, please. Okay, we, we wrote them, uh, and they received this uh, July 15, no? Uh, we wrote them, asking them for the record, the date time stamp of the record to show, to prove that there were actually 20 million votes that were transmitted. And that is in their, in their record, that is in their database, no? Hindi nila masabi na wala. You know what? And before we got the answer, July 15 to, no? July 30, nasunog yung kanilang data, data, um, yung data bank nila, but they say that nothing was, uh, <coughs> was uh, destroyed, no? But kung ganyan pa tayo nila pakita, just keep, just easily say na, even short statement, that the 20 million is uh, covered by enough uh, time, daytime stamp, uh, transmission report 
to show that there were actually 20 million votes counted from 7 to 8. Hindi madali. They just show the public. They should have already uh, castigated us. What are you saying? Ito ho. Slap it on our face. What what happened? May nasunog sa pumilip. And they gave us an answer. Next slide, please. Yeah, it was signed by Marlo, by one of the prominent. Uh, uh, so, ito yung answer nila. They said, uh, the answer came uh, September 1, di ba? Saying that uh, we, they could not give us the records because they have already uh, transmitted it to the Joint uh, Oversight Committee, Congressional Committee, or the automated of the JCOP, no? Eh, sinong uh, chairperson ng JCOP? Ay, ni Marcos, sa Senate. No? And uh, also, dalawa daw ang pinadala nila, and uh, another CAC, the, the uh, uh, <coughs> council that I used to head when I was with the ICT. No? And I know that we never asked, or we were never given uh, date time stamp records no? when we do not ask for it. It is not a matter of procedure that they gave it to us. No? Kasi voluminous din yun eh. What we are expecting only is they come up with a notary statement or sworn statement that we have here with anybody who would like to see it, we can show it to them that the uh, these records of all the transmissions between uh, 7 and 8 p.m. will uh, prove that there were 20 million votes counted until now, kung saan kami dinadala. And then, of course, just to be equal, no? we also wrote Jacob and CEC. Uh, and uh, let's write this. And what did uh, G, uh, Jacob answer us? September 1, this month, beginning this month, Jacob answered us that they could not, that they will still have to ask the uh, oversight committee because they have not, uh, <coughs> they have not uh, convened yet. So, so, a simple request that should be answered because the data should be in their uh, database. No? Eh, mukhang wala na eh. Mukhang nasunog or what? But we still have another one. No? Kung, kung, kung sabi nila na wala na talaga. We still, still have an uh, approach. No? You have to ask the telco to give us their uh, CBRs, no? But for us to do that, we need a court order now. Uh, so let's, next slide, please. Lana. Okay. Our conclusion is, wala ka, no? We are still waiting, two months na, no? July 15, August 15, and we are now September uh, 20, no? More than two months na. Well, that's it. Simple, no? In other words, if you are, you show the public all this data, and then after two months you cannot satisfy all. In other words, uh, anong mga comments na kukuha namin from the trolls? Move on na kayo. Uh, let's move on na. Bakit doon pa ito kinapan? Anyway, Nagdaya rin si Sina Lenny noong 2016, mga ganyan. Those are what they are answering us. It is not what we want. We want a clean and honest election that is transparent. Because we will go on like this. Ano nga yung ginagawa nila? Uh, I will... Well, uh, maybe I don't have to show this again. It's quite long, you know? If you remember, 2016, nung natalo si BBM, he went public. What did he say? 
and, and I will just uh, uh, give a copy of the uh, pen here, and you can you can watch it. No, what he said. Smartmatic, 2016, no? Smartmatic is a cheating system available for the highest bidder. So, kung sino manalo, sila ang nagkabigay ng pera sa Smartmatic. Pero ngayon, using, wala panibago, using Smartmatic system, siya ang nanalo. So, using his own words, siya ba ang nagbigay ng highest bid? <laughs> Uh, that, that one is clearly shown here, no? and uh, you can ask uh, uh, our good friend here for a copy. No? Okay, so so that is why the problem is they hold all branches of our government. No? What are they doing now? Is this is what they are doing now uh, the result of a majority of our people voting them. This is the highest uh, uh, majority no, that a president has won. Then what are they doing? They showed made in Malacanang. They put, they gave themselves uh, uh, confidential funds na wala pa tayo noon, in spite of the fact that we have the biggest uh, debt. No? So many trillions of pesos debt that even uh, apo lang apo natin will be paying. Yun ang kanilang kina... Okay, well, that is the priority. No? These are not signs of uh, people that has gratitude to the, for the people giving them the highest point. And where well, are those 31 million? No? They could not even produce them. So clearly, if they do not answer this, they, and ito pang pakasaklap, the present commissioner, chair of Comelec, who used to be the, uh, the elect lawyer. lawyer, electoral lawyer of BBM in 2016, he was also one of those said that Smartmatic is a cheating system. Ano sinasabi na ngayon? that we need to have uh, 90 billion pesos to buy more Smartmatic machines to be used in the 2025. Because, and then of course in the 2020 uh, election, is that the only way that they can win? And if we do not stop this right now and then, this will be what will be happening to our election. If, so ito nga ang panani na uh, I am 78 years old. No? Um, uh, I was one of those who fought uh, in Brad Edlin, uh, <clears throat> the Marcoses in uh, the first Edsa Revolution. No? We were inside that time uh, camp. No? And then you people, I don't like protect talaga sa amin no? But we were young then, no? and then that was our contribution. But somehow, bumabalike. And uh, we don't have now the time to, to push through that. So that's why we are telling you this, because it will be your children, and who will suffer if we do not stop this now? No? It's just questioning. Show us the proof that they were working. If they cannot show it, then they have nothing to show. So itong kinawa namin is how do we force them because yun nga, sabot nila ng mga trolls nila, oh wala, ganyan, move on, move on lang kayo. Why are you making it on, let's do, unite for our country, mga ganyan ba? Uh, what they are saying actually is, huwag na kayo maingay, nalalong nata kami. And how did they win? Will it be good for our country? When in fact, wala pa 100 days eh, nakikita na natin na eh, iba na ang palakal. No? Uh, are they yung education ninyo? No? Um, lang na ang UP. Kinaltasan nila ang, ang, ang mga 
uh, state universities. Ang health natin, pinalta sa nila. And what did they increase? Confidential funds for themselves. So, so yun. Uh, in order for them to be pressured to to uh, <clears throat> give. Eh, kasi kung kami lang, yun. Yan ang sinasagot. They are uh, using their trust against us. no? But if the people themselves will uh, show na we need answers to explain, yun ang magingin natin eh. And if they cannot, then, you know, let them explain. Pero ang kwa natin is that hopefully by 20, uh, the next election, 2025, uh, no? Wala smart matik. So, uh, we, kaya nga may, may pirma kami, to, to have our people sign a petition that may, no? We don't know, right? but at least maybe a number of people sign a petition to please show us the truth and please uh, no more smartmatic uh, on the next election. Um, I will now turn over to the uh, <coughs> Secretary General of our Secretariat, uh, Mr. Suleiman. No? To give you a uh, very short, very short, because I think, think I have taken up most of the time. Thank you very much. I do ask any questions later. Maraming salamat. So, maganda yung uh, aliwanag sa atin ni Sir Eli. So, siguro, Sir Eli, pwede muna tayo sa question and answer. Baka may mga tanong, lalo yung mga mathematicians siya, mga statisticians dito. So, pwede tayo magtanong. Uh, dito din sasagutin po ni Sir Eli. Sige po. Uh, doon. Bago po tayo magpaliwanag tungkol kung paano magpapapirma. Pwede, pwede tayo magtanong. Hello, hello. Pwede rin akong kumanta. <laughs> <laughs> so, yung tanong, tungkol, lalo yung mga statisticians, mas alam nyo ito, yung mga law of large numbers and yung mga naririnig ko. No? Kung possible ba na cons constant yung mga ratios, di ba? Very, very fast nga para sila to explain yung constant ratio. Because, first out, malaki nang nabilang namin. That is law of large numbers. Pero tinatanong namin, Saan ang galing yung large number na yan? Kung fabricated yan, <laughs> fabricated din yung uh, inyong explanation ng law of large number. Yeah. Di ba? Uh, yes, please. I have a question. Um, how dito, dito, sir. Para oh, na... Right. Okay. Okay. Para na... Okay. okay. Would there be a, no a minimum number of petitions that will be needed for us to... Um, to request transparency, or do we just the petition just for the sake of um, showing them that oh, there are a lot of people that really want to know? Well, uh, as voters, in other words, this is our uh, show, no? You you voting? Uh, you're you're asking. I, I did not get it. Oh, so there's a minimum, um, an, a minimum amount of petitions are needed. Ah, uh, signatures. Yeah. No? Yeah, uh, we have in our constitution. Ah, wala pa ang sa bilang ng pirma, wala naman tayong wala namang sinasabi yung ating constitution o yung mga patas. So, pero may target tayo sa People's Movement. Uh, Tinatarget natin dalawang milyong pirma bago ang katapusan ng taon. Kasi ma maraming ano po ito, ang ang pirma ng taong bayan, marami po siyang uh, gamit. Una, uh, sa, dalawang bagay po kasi ito, no, truth and electoral reforms. Doon sa ating petition, uh, nililiwanag po natin doon, hinihiling natin sa COMELEC na magkaroon ng tinatawag na random manual audit. Kung saan yung mga, yung 750 val ballot boxes ay uh, pipili and through tambiolo system. Nagkaroon na ng random manual audit, 
maraming mga elect ano eh, mga presinto sa buong Pilipinas, pinili yung 750 sa pamamagitan ng no? computer din ng electronic. So dahil nakita natin bakit electronic yung pagpili no? Pwede may bias doon. So mag-random manual audit uli pero bunutan kung anong presinto yung matapat, 750 na presinto. Then bibilangin ng manual yung ba yung ballot box then i ikukumpara doon sa laman ng SD cards. Yun. Yun yung unang hiling natin sa petition. Pangalawang hiling natin magkaroon tayo ng hybrid election system. So, yun. Ah, yung tanong kung ilan ang bilang ng pipirma. Mas marami, mas mainam. Pero, again, ah, nililiwanag kasi natin, hindi ito electoral protest. So, hindi ito protesta ng isang politiko. Hindi. Ah, ito ay ah, kahilingan ng taong bayan na magkaroon ng random manual audit at magkaroon tayo ng uh, batas para sa hybrid election. Bakit hindi namin uh, nire-recognize yung random manual audit official na ginawa ng COMELEC, no? They did that in Diamond Hotel. No? First, yun nga sabi, the 750 uh, precinct, ang nag-pili niyan is a computer program. Actually, nilalaro natin yan sa sa mga uh, mga lo, mga pa no? but kayo ba maglalaro kayo ng loto kung alam niyo yan ang procedure wala kailangan talaga makita ng tao na yung paglabas ng numbers are really random no? and that is through a tambozo system and it has been done 20 uh, 2010 uh, the next also and tambozo yon no? Dito lang ang mga 2016 also na they shifted to a random program by computer no. So diyan ang una, hindi so so may possibility na alam na nila kung ano yung yung mga ipiliin for the random manual audit no. And therefore, hindi na nila gagalawin yung mga napili, 750 lang yun eh. Okay, second. Kahit na let's say there was really a random selection No? So, 750 all over the country were selected. Sino nagdala lahat nito sa Diamond Hotel? Ano yung logistic na ginamit? Kay Dennis Uy. <laughs> F2. Ha? F, F2 logistic. F2 logistic. And, may nagbantay pa ng balot independent watch it from the precinct to Diamond Hotel. And some, some of them took about five days, ha? Huh? You can easily, ano, and, ano yung ceiling nila? Yung, yung, pan, yung plastic na, eh, pan, yun lang ceiling nila, which you can easily cut and replace. Once you cut that, or once you put out the cover, you can easily take out the, the ballot and replace it with what, Uh, the uh, uh, SD card. Paano? So, we are saying that the SD cards are already pre-programmed. And how do we say that? Because na configure and COMELEC for about more than one month without informing anybody. Nahuli lang sila ng non-frail. Well, why are you na configure? Bawal yan ah. When you configure, there must be witnesses, no? So, one month na yan na nagkukonfigure sila ng SD cards without any witness. And, and you know what the reason is? COVID. Hindi kami nagparakuan ng witness because oh, may pandemic pa noon. But that's it, pan. Pinagtawanan lang sila because, you know, we, they can, you can have social distancing, you can have mass, and you don't have to have, kahit na dalawa o tatlo lang, that's, that's enough, no? Na mag- may mag may reliable reliable lang but zero and that is where you can pre-program the SD cards so so more or less dun namin na na nahina na, na yung mga program sa SD card alam na lang transparency server kung anong iba ba to sa kanila kaya hindi pa nagta-transmit to mayroon na silang result for that particular receipt Because they were the one who knows, so ito, SD card nito, this will go to physic number, so and so, ah, ito yung magiging resulta niya. So, 
And the only way to check that is yung talagang randomly then bilangin yung balog and compare it to the result that the SD card transmitted. No? But yun nga eh, hindi, tayo, di, hindi na tayo sigurado sa integrity ng balog na yan. So, we are, so yun. These are things that happened this election that is against the law. No? Yung, yung nag print sila ng ballot and uh, configured SD cards, one or seven thousand of them, without any witness, is against the law. Pero, may nag-complain pa doon? Did Amy Marcos, who is supposed to be the, the oversight committee, complain on that? Wala, pinagayaan lang. Contento na sila sa explanation na because of COVID. Okay. Uh, sir, at least siguro pwede nga natin yung video. Okay, sige. Oh, sige po. Uh, Nakalo po ito, naka-zoom. Mas marami yung nag-participate sa Zoom. Anyway, uh, kung hindi man, lack of time, hindi na natin mapag yung video. Filma, sana sa katotohan. Ano ba ang filma ang umiikot kayo? Ito ay kapisyon ng sambayanan upang maalis ang duda sa nakaraang mainay eleksyon at makapagsulong ng mga election reports.
hindi ka tapos ang laban. Ayan, sir. Sir Edwin. Okay, no? May question sa May question ba? Online. Online. <coughs> eh, sir, kayo na lang mag-sabi. Online question. Yes. Um, yes. So, in the online meeting room, we have uh, Sir William Yu with us right now. Um, uh, earlier before, we had an po, um, attorney Ola from the network for the elections. And here with us in the room right now is Sir William. He's um, VP for technology, I think, and also um, this department. So, one of the technical persons that we invited to be um, for to ask yes. yes. so, 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 good reaction na, uh, on the speaker. So, I've known uh, Jen Murillo for a while and we work, we work together in the CDC. Uh, just na, uh, just address to Jen Murillo na uh, is uh, the, the data that we provide, uh, the data that we got as part of the transparency server down which we get during uh, election night and actually uh, succeeding days after the election in up to you know, 15, 10 minute intervals, that data set actually has the time stamp. Right? So we have shared the data with a number of researchers from multiple institutions, including ourselves, for example, at Eneo, from, from Nassau, from FEU, from NACWI, and I believe from USP as well. So the data itself, meron po siyang timestamp down to the minute that, that. So as you will see in that, um, the, the data set that was already provided as part of the transparency server data, you can actually do an, uh, an analysis if you like on a per minute level instead of look, uh, looking at it on the per dump. So the analysis that was pro provided here is the one that comes out in the media, right? So. The, the data in which we uh, the data in which the, uh, the data that is published as part of the transparency server is given in intervals. They're not you know on a per minute basis because hindi naman uh, hindi naman siya real time yung mga display. However, the data set that was provided does actually have a more detailed you know, view. So this this how analysis can be done. So that's one source of, of data we have. The data. Um, the, uh, and Amphel will have the data as well, and other groups, uh, election watchdogs, and political parties will have the data as well. So that's one place where the data can be obtained. The second place where the data can be obtained is the Comunex Central Servers. This is the public uh, results website. So we also observe that the data is also present there, including other fields that were not available in the transparency service, such as. Uh, BCM, I mean, for example, the hardware number of the machines are also provided with that. So you can also have a web of, if you really want to do a analysis, more than the one that's pro provided by the data set that is being published in the media. And even the media institutions by the to themselves that are broken down as well. Yes, so yeah. that's just one comment on the data set. So, so for those who are interested in doing uh, research to the election data, you can actually get, get it and we'll have time steps. Now, just for the reference of all the attendees in this session, we also have the data sets for all the previous electronic elections starting from 2010. So we've already had some faculty members look at the data even as early as 2010, 13, 16, 19, and 2022, which is the latest one. So, if the study of the data is of interest to certain parties, you can actually be, uh, reach out as well um, to get access to that, right? So that's on the, the data portion. Now, with respect to transmission, it is also good to remember that the results are being transmitted for both. They're transmitted per cluster precinct. So we're not transmitting 55 million votes or a total universe of 55 million votes. Instead, we are transmitting only about 100,000 clustered precincts. Right? So, so that's the first thing to remember. Each clustered precinct transmits something called an um, ER, as mentioned by General uh, a while ago, which is basically an aggregated. So, in Ipusha, um, one vote per, per transmission is basically an aggregated. So, you could think of it like a summary. 
candidate number one gets exposed, candidate number two gets exposed. So it is a grouping of votes as supposed to individual votes. So whenever a clustered precinct will transmit, it will transmit the votes of anywhere between 400 to up to 800. So you know first thing that you guys must remember, the transmission is not done by the proponent uses. That's the first. The second thing to, to, to remember is that transmissions are done as they are done, right? So there's no waiting time. So when closing is done and the whole closing ritual, which takes up to, as General Bill mentioned, anywhere between 30 minutes to an hour, it really takes that long. But during the transmission, just for the reference to the people in the audience, the file is about, uh, the file is, uh, is, not, is, is, is uh, the file size, the estimated file size, is under 2 megabytes. So the file, the ER transmission size is actually less than 2 megabytes. So streaming one second on YouTube, which is about 4 megabits per second, is actually much larger than this transmission file. So the file is actually not very large. And um, transmitting these volumes, for example, on 60,000 or 15,000 million, a span of a few minutes is actually not unheard of in fed and level communication. So we built systems, for example, to transmit faster than that. As a matter of fact, in the first hour of transmission, there were more transmissions in 2019 than 2022. So it was faster, actually, the first hour of the phone closing of 2019 than 2020. And I believe that also reflects in closing times. Okay. So that's something to take note of when we do analysis on the time it takes to transmit. Because one, you don't transmit for both. It's transmitted per cluster precinct. So you're not transmitting for five million, you're transmitting 100,000. And the records are quite small, right? So they are uh, uh, in, in later representation. These are not videos which we stream a lot of and so those are just some two things that I like to highlight for the viewers. And of course, I like to reiterate also, the, uh, if you need access to the data with a timestamp, the current date that that was provided does have timestamps. Thank you. Uh, yeah, thank you for that. Uh, we, yeah, uh, we work together in CAC and we is a uh, highly technical uh, expert on this one. So we why uh, this is what is bothering us, really. We wrote the letter July 15, and until now, we have not gotten any answer. And actually, we also wrote the uh, PPCRP uh, to the... Sino may yung pan? Yung kay Asol, Hipolito? PPCRP. Yes, and we are still also waiting for the... We are also waiting for the answer from PPCRP, no? Because you said that, uh, in other words, you explained it well, no? But how come uh, Comelec does not explain it to us that way? And ito nga yung question, Lil, no? We, uh, actually, our main question is, how could Comelec, or uh, in other words, how could the automated election system be able, or the transparency server, be able to count 20 million votes, more than 20 million votes, in the first hour, when in that first hour they still have to print uh, eight uh, ERs, no? which will take about 30 minutes. In other words, from 7 to 8, the earliest transmission would be around 7.30. But, true. but the, uh, the uh, transparency server showed at 8.02, Meaning, from 7.30 to 8, 8 p.m., 20 million votes were counted. No? I, uh, as you said, around, from around uh, 30,000 uh, uh, BCM all over the country. No? Uh, mm -hmm. So that's it. No? They, they counted 20 million. And in the second hour, when there should be more BCM now ready to transmit, kasi nakapag-print na at lahat, no? Why only 13.2 million? When if we will follow the rate that was done in the first hour, in the first 30 minutes, it should be at least uh, around uh, close to 40 million. So how will you explain that, no? I mean, uh, yeah. so, so you so, have uh, questions that we are waiting for uh, answers for. Yeah. 
So I can't speak on behalf of Paul or Momelec on why he did not reply. On our end, I checked um, who you sent that letter to, but I don't recall if made any request for data, which that should have gone to me, but that definitely we can check. Now, with respect to transmission, let's remember that counting is not done at the canvassing level. So counting is done at the BCM level, and the transmission is, 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 is simply done on a per BCM basis and not on a per vote basis. So it's actually done per cluster increasing basis. And but just for you, this is this because you are correct. This, this no, you know, first thing you transmission, there is 37,000 plus clustered precincts that transmitted, and then second are 27,000. So smaller your number, and first, uh, second hour versus the first hour. But just to note that in 2019, we have 46,000 clustered precincts, way more than the, than the first hour of 2019 compared to the 13,000 in the second. Now, why is this possible? It's because closing times in 2020 are also limited. So we closed elections in 2022 relative to 2019 on a later time, right? So the closing time was different. And therefore, there were probably a lot of precincts that were already ready to close, but couldn't close because they could not legally close until the official closing time. I mean, that's just based, based on what we observed on the field. But yes, I mean, you, uh, you, you should get an official answer from Pomerick here, but that's just a quick observ observation on our part. Yeah, thank you for that, uh, Lil. Uh, yes, yun lang, yun na ang pa natin. Because uh, even if you, it's not a matter of speed of transmission anymore, no? It is the time uh, that you can transmit in the first hour because you have so many administrative matters to do, especially the printing, no? That, that, some, some of the printing actually took more than an hour, no? You can check your record. So we need, uh, we are really asking for the daytime stamp to show that really there are more GCM of cluster tracing that were able to transmit uh, in the first hour than in the second hour, which is quite uh, improbable, no? We have the, uh, in other words, you know, that has to be shown, that has to be proven. You know, say it cannot be done or it did not happen. But we need the proof. It's not just uh, saying that oh, in 2019 it was like this. We need the proof because this is specifically first hour of May 9, 7 to 8 p.m. compared to uh, the second hour, 8 to 9 p.m. That's all, only that. Why is it that in spite of the fact that in the first hour, 30 minutes or even more than 30 minutes has to be spent in printing before they can transmit, how come 20 million were counted by the DCM and in the second hour? When, as you, as you said, there, are, there should be more DCM ready to transmit because uh, printing has been done in the first hour. Why only 13.2 million? So that's it. Yeah. I just need a yeah. answer. Uh, well, can yeah. we yeah. explain uh, there are many reasons for that? and. Yeah, I mean, if you'd like to get the specifics, you can also have a look at the transmission timestamps that were provided uh, that are part of the transparency server logs. Uh, no, not no, the transparency server data set, right? It's on a per minute basis, so you can see the breakdown. But just to note that it doesn't really matter whether the first hour was only 30 minutes or first hour was only two hours. It takes less than five minutes to transmit. Yeah, I know, so I know. even if only 30 minutes is available. I think, uh, just to be in the same frequency, yeah. no? we are not talking about speed of transmission. I am talking about the uh, time before transmission that uh, then is supposed to be uh, in the general instruction of Comelec. Administrative matters that have to be done before transmission. Okay, but the transmit plan, yeah, okay now. Pero it takes the administrative matter that has nothing to do with transmission at all. Forget about transmission. You have only ten, less than uh, 30 minutes to transmit in the first hour. That's all. And in the second hour, you have the whole 60 minutes to transmit. Question is, there should be more DCM 
more votes should have been counted in the second hour than in the first hour. That's all. Simple logic. Um, sir, you know, and also, Sir William, to go for that, um, from uh, Sandunias, and because we also had a few professors from the math department and um, from the this department that went ahead because they have a class right now. Okay. Okay. Um, maybe what we can suggest is that um, earlier we've also talked with Attorney Ona of Lente. Maybe yes. one um, possible solution we have we, we have these questions is maybe to set up another meeting. Maybe online the lampo, so it's easier for everyone. Yeah. Then, um, at least for yeah, the people, yeah, if the body has access to the data, for example, the local uh, per per minute, for example, that is a uh, uh, input. So I'm just stating a fact right, that some people think that the transparency server results file is just the results. It actually does include a timestamp of when a particular cluster is present transmitted. So it's included in. Mm -hmm. Right, so that's also something that could be studied. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. Sir, um, mm -hmm. Siguro Sir Rio and also Sir Edwin, would you be open so that for that meeting, um, we'll have from our math department and also Sir William, yeah. if you can join, then yeah. as well as Lenze. Yeah, so we have the election monitoring aspect of it. Okay, okay. Since I think not every question can, can be answered by Sir William since okay, um, it's more of the technical aspect. Thank you, so. thank you. Yeah. Thank you, cool, sir. Um, thank I you. guess, um, We'll set up a meeting. Maybe we'll keep everyone in touch. Me, I'm not sure if it's this week or next week, but um, we'll have to check with the, the uh, schedules of our professors. Yes. But I guess um, okay. I guess for that, um, does Sir William have anything more to add, or anyone in the room?